Hey everyone, hi, this is Joey with Love and Laughter Music, and today we're going to be talking about from idea to a song, what goes into that. But I want you to stick around because at the very end I will be summarizing the three key points that you will need to know to take all your ideas and organize them into songs that people are going to remember for a lifetime. The next thought I want to share with you has to do with how to take the abstract, how to take the ideas that we just talked about and give them organization. In music, we call that form. And without getting too detailed about it, the idea here is basically that you can take all these things that are going around in your head, maybe it's lyrics, maybe it's some chords that you put together and you don't know what to do with them, or maybe it's a melody line that you've been humming uh, and you don't know how to organize it. And so form in music is the organizational part of music where we begin to put it in its place so that it makes musical sense and it also is appealing to the listener at the same time. And so form is really important. Understanding what the verse is, what the chorus is, what the intro is, what a bridge is, and identifying them so that way you can organize your song in a way that is going to make sense and is going to relate to as many people as possible. Okay, now we're going to talk about the song itself. And we're going to talk about a really important definition that we'll be getting more into later on. And that's called a motif. It's a musical term, motif, that just simply is an idea, a short melodic or rhythmic idea that's repetitive in which you can build strong hooks, strong and memorable melodies, chord progressions, lyrics from. And so I wanted to demonstrate how that can be done in a very simple way. So let's get into it. The first thing is we're going to listen to a short motif that is chained together with other motifs to create an actual musical phrase. Let's listen. Okay, so here I simply took three notes and then I linked them together with four notes. And out of that, I created a phrase, a musical phrase. So I took a three note motif, I connected it to a four note motif, an idea, and then I created a musical phrase with it. Now, the next step is what happens if I put a chord progression in it? Now, you may or may not like this melody. I just kind of threw this together. But the idea here is to show you that even with those ideas, then you can begin to help determine the genre or style you want to go. So if you're a country singer or a country artist, then let's make it country. If you're a pop artist or an R&B artist, then you can form it and shape it into that idea. But you have the motif, you have the basic idea. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to keep that same melody that you just heard without any accompaniment. And now I'm going to add a guitar or at least a fake guitar on the, on the computer. And you're gonna hear this with more of a uh, different sound that's kind of a little more singer-songwriter or even country. All right, here we go. And here is the same idea now with a guitar. Okay, so you can see that as country or pop or singer-songwriter, whatever style that is. But let's say that's not the kind of genre that I'm really interested in. Let's say I want to go R&B. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to not use the guitar. And instead, I'm going to put some drums and bass. And I'm going to put an um, electric piano and move it more towards kind of an R&B type of a song. And let's see what happens at this point when I add that and see what you think.
there you have it. So interesting how motifs can turn into melodic phrases and melodic phrases accompanied with a cool lyric, something that's memorable, and a cool harmony to help determine the genre or style of the music can really lead you towards a really fun and cool musical idea that then can become something catchy that people will remember. All right, so there you have it. In summary, we covered three important things about taking your ideas and making them into a full song. The first one was just getting my ideas so that they have a purpose and they have a meaning and very importantly, that they are relatable to an audience. That's so important. Have something to say, have a message that's important. The second thing we talked about was form or how to organize those ideas, whether it's musically or lyrically, so that you can make an order from them and so they are something that people can appreciate and relate to in a musical sense as well. And then the last thing we talked about was how to take short ideas or what we call motifs, which is just a short phrase um, of three notes, four notes, and then chain them together and you can create a very memorable sound. And depending on the chord progressions you put underneath, you can also determine what the genre or style is of that song. Hey you guys, thanks so much for tuning in and listening. I wanna encourage you to check out the information uh, and the notes that are linked below and all the services that we offer here through Love and Laughter Music. Thanks so much.